we're going to look at the simplified uh, drip irrigation system which is affordable and using the readily available materials that are existing in our retail outlets. These are the components which are required to make the simplified gravity powered drip irrigation system. A 20 liter container which is going to be a water source, garden hose, so drip line, tap as a union with a thread tape, your wire connector plus the garden hose or drip line connector. your punch plus the drip which is going to be fitted on the drip line and the puncher is used to make the hole you need the stake to hold the drip line in position the stopper that stops the water at the end of the drip line you need a second here to cut the garden hose based on the length that is required and your drill which is needed to make the hole at the 20 litre container and a special equipment which is the holder of the union to be fitted on the 20 litre container. To begin with, we are going to make a hole at the base of the container for the installation of the tap. So we are going to use this special tool called the holder to hold the union in position to install the tap on the container. There you go. Tap has been fitted on the on the container. So we're going to fit the wire connector for the lateral line. So on the wire connector, you have the two regulators, which uh, controls the amount and the pressure of water going on the lateral line. So this is how you make the platform for this simplified drip irrigation system. Um, just using local timber, simple frame, and then you dig a hole for the legs. Um, so it looks flimsy, but when you're going to bury, it's going to hold the platform in position and will be really firm to hold the water and the weight on top of the platform. Please make sure that the legs of the platform is 1.3 meters so that 1 meter is above the ground and 30 centimeters is buried in the soil. Right. This is what the simplified gravity powered drip irrigation system looks like. You have your water tank on the platform held firmly with a strapper you have the tap fitted you have a drip line also fitted on the wire connector with the drip line connector fitted firmly on the garden hose there you go fit it back on then Turn on the tap as well as the two, two valves. The position of the dripper 
is determined by the recommended spacing of the crop. So in this case, for French bean, the spacing is 30 centimeters. So one dripper feeds one plant at the base of the French bean plant. Please don't forget to use the stopper at the end of every drip line to block the water from draining out freely. This plot has been without water for the last couple of days and you can see the stress on this plant and we call it water stress. Young leaves started drooping as well as the flowers on this French bean compared to this plant where we just turn on the drip irrigation system for the last 30 minutes. Here you can see total diff difference between the two plants. Water remains an important input for especially vegetable production. So the best time to turn on, to turn on your irrigation system is before 10 in the morning as well as after 2 in the afternoon. So between 10 to 2 those are not a good time to turn on your irrigation system. And this is also the time after 3 and before 10 the photosynthesis rate of plants is really high. It produces food for plants and in this case the French bean on this plot. For more information on how to establish a home garden like this or something smaller you can refer to this book Grow Your Own Food Promoting Healthy Eating Through Home Gardening. For more information, please visit the nearest agriculture station or call telephone number 3384233 for assistance.